You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, I'm Danny Mussolini, and I just want to ask you this question. Are you your own worst enemy? Like, who talks you out of more things than anyone else? Your spouse, your parents, your boss, your lawyer. If you're like most people, the answer is probably you yourself you have an inner voice that has opinions on everything that you do that inner voice has its own perspective on you as a person and is acutely aware of your limitations and shortcomings every time you attempt to step out of your box to try something and challenging that inner voice starts in on you you can never do that it says well that inner voice is wrong you can do it if you set your mind to it no matter what has happened in the past in fact your biggest obstacle is convincing yourself that you can the first step in doing that is to acknowledge that the inner voice exists and then take steps to counteract it the inner voice will always be there you can't get rid of it but you can keep it from dominating your thoughts and action by supplying yourself with plenty of positive input get yourself around positive future oriented people read books listen to cds i like to uh listen to a book called the war of art and it's about procrastination and beating procrastination um has a lot of positive affirmations in it i listen to that book often whenever i get into a slump of my own uh you know you got to talk back to that voice and say yes i can the well on the possibilities not the risk Model the behavior of successful people. Take action toward your goals. Remind yourself of your accomplishments and other challenges that you have overcome in the past. Write down your goals and review them at least once a day. Find your purpose in life. Keep yourself focused on it. You can accomplish great things if you just let yourself do it. Take it from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word and word is bond. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, it feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos and starseeds, and two times for my people who are vegans. We are averaging over 34,000 plus listeners, and we've been at this for three solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we're still growing, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, movies, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on the show from Grammy Award winning artists, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology geniuses, visual artists, from authors to professors and aliens. Or if people think they're aliens, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book an interview or just to share a real cool story. Email me at the radio at only one media group dot com. I'm passionate about what I do, just as passionate about what you do. And together, yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. And with that, hello out there and welcome to another episode of our podcast, Vigilantes Radio. Thank you again, as always, for tuning in and being a part of our audience family. 
you know the number to dial. It's 701-801-9813 to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in and mix directly from my website, which is only one onemediagroup.com. Scroll over to the Vigilantes Radio tab and slap that Go Live button, and you'll be right here live in the mix with all of us or in the chat room so feel free to shoot over some questions to ask or guess while they are here and as always all episodes are available for free download you can grab that from spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube the app called podcast addict or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well Tonight's interview is the JC217 interview, and I am definitely your host, Denny Mussolini. So let's go ahead and dive deep, shall we? Yes, we shall. So we are the people who have dedicated their weekdays and nights to music, movies, news, business ventures, conspiracies, and just talking every aspect. For my incredible writing and promotion here on our new Facebook page, by the way, be sure to go like it. Uh, to our interviews and music show on Vigilantes Radio, which is what you're listening to now, or our spiritual and intuitive talk on a show we got called Skeptics. And that's where we discuss music business, money, my favorite uh, my favorite subject, relationships and conspiracies. Or you can listen to our brand new show called Hated It. And that's where Mike and I review movies of all kinds and do voiceover comedy. We spend each and every day giving our maximum effort to create a vibrant, exciting indie and professional community for all creative minds that coexist in this beautiful artistic world so our special guest uh tonight is a student of arts a future mongol and a business venturer his name is jc217 so let's go ahead and get him on here hey jc217 you're now live in the mix with all of us how's it going and how are you feeling Hey, I'm great, man. How you feeling today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So, man, uh, how's here, the weather man. where you at, bro? Oh, man. That's funny, man. It rains about two days straight, man. They set us down at first on Monday. They set down the city because they thought it was going to be worse than what it was. But that's the best of life, man. We're pretty good out here, man. Great, great, great. So uh, shall we dive deep into this interview? All right, let's do it. All right, man. Thanks First and foremost, man. Oh, man, you're welcome, bro. It's fantastic to have you here with us uh, at this very moment. So I definitely appreciate your time and efforts and answering all of these ramblings that are about to follow. So thank you very much for your time and your patience. And I mean what I say. I'm truly glad that you're here with us tonight, JC217. So let's chat about this new business venture and what you do over there uh, in Illinois, right? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta now. Oh, Atlanta. All right. So, so I'm doing, man. You know, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So I was just, I was just saying what I was doing, man. I'm trying to. Trying to build a brand, you know, around kind of like myself, man. I kind of want to be everywhere. I don't want to focus on one thing right now. I'm kind of focused on, on the YouTube venture. Um, I kind of want to build a channel. And I want to see where it can take me. Like I said, I'm, I'm in school, man. I'm, I'm going for music business. I've always been in, into music, so I'm just trying to see where it can take me. And, and if I can get on here and talk about the latest fashion for the music, Everything is up to date, man. Let's see how far it gets. Right. Definitely. So, you know, in the intro of the show, I was talking about how your inner voice can be uh, the biggest obstacle in, in, in one's path when they're trying to pursue their dreams and goals. Um, along your journey, have you ever encountered any disbelief, like not only from, you know, others, but from your own self? Well, of course, you know, um, I always, I always kind of, I've always been the kind of person, like, I, I, I would get into something that I feel like, man, I'm not going hard enough, and I just tune out and do something else, but, you know, I feel like this time I actually, you know, stick with it, so I've always kind of doubted myself, you know, I try not to focus on what others say, because at the end of the day, I mean, they, they really don't do anything for you. Or, or, you know, they if they don't benefit, you know, then why, why let them 
dismantle what you're trying to build. So, um, I'm just trying to stay focused. I keep a positive attitude now, and you know, let's see, let's see what I get. Definitely. And, and it seems to me that sometimes, you know, and this is from personal experience, that it seems like every new idea or, or new venture that I want to go on, especially in business, I have to battle my own thoughts. Um, so for you, was there ever a struggle to identify this belief as a legitimate part of yourself? And, and if so, what kind of thoughts do you battle? Um, I mean, I really... I believe in myself, you know, I just want to, I want to know where, you know, what it is that, what is my plan, you know, what is, what is it that set out for me, that's the only thing I struggle with, you know, and I know whatever it is that I, I'm capable of doing it, if I try to find myself, you know, I always want to, like, I always feel like I, I need to tap into two or three different things at once. And, you know, mm-hmm. It's all about getting that one thing and staying, you know, steady and whatever it is that you want to do. So I just want to stay focused on, on, on one thing. I got you. I got you. Uh, you sound like me, man. Uh, well, I don't know really, uh, but I can't focus on one thing. Like yeah. my mind, you know, races so much that there's like so many ideas I go through a day, and I want to do them all, but. <laughs> Exactly. I get into trouble when I try to do them all, you know? All uh, right, um, so come... Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was about to say, my, my stepdad, he always he always says that, he, like, his theory behind it is that you're just, you know, too smart and you don't know. <laughs> you, you, you can never just stay focused. You feel like you want to master the next thing, you know? Uh-huh. It's a struggle. Yeah. So yeah. conversely, though, where does the support and love come from for your endeavors? Who, who's always in your corner? Mm. Wow, well, uh, my my mom, my, my grandparents, you know, I got cousins, my brothers, my my, my brothers that, that that ain't my blood, but they my brothers. You know, they know who, who they are. Um, I got people who don't support me, you know. I don't want to go into names, you know, because I don't want to forget nobody either, so. Right. You know, just my family, you know, my kids, you know, they love me, so. I got two kids, a boy and a girl, so, you know, they always be motivated, but. For the most part, I think I covered everybody. I got a couple friends, but that's about it. Do you have any trouble sharing your ideas with these people? Not necessarily, no. I don't have any trouble. I, I feel like it, I can go talk to them. Regardless if they agree with me or not, they might <laughs> they might let me know, but they support whatever I do. So that's why I feel like they're always in my corner. You know, no matter how many ideas I, I start and don't finish, they always support the next one. So um, I'm right. thankful to have have support in my corner. That's always the plus, right. and, and and a lot of people don't we take it for granted, but it's actually a big. You know, it actually helps you and, and keeps you motivated. It keeps that positive attitude behind you. That is true. That is true. Now, I suppose we should clear the air as best as we can. Um, I couldn't find any published interviews with you yet. So I'm thinking we're at least at the front of the pack and discovering you. Oh, not say not per se discovering you, but the first to interview you. Um, every person in, in some sort of journalistic history has had to answer the question regarding the why we do this, you know, that big question. Um, had I seen an answer okay. to this, I heard an answer, I assure you I wouldn't even answer this, ask you this question. I would stay far, far away from it uh, because it kind of lacks, I don't know, it, it, it's pretty much a standard question. But why, why are you doing this? Why are you venturing into the music business? Where's the love that that comes from? The music business, um, you know, <laughs> like growing up, uh, I've never been an athlete. Like I've never been athletic, you know. I never had an athletic bone in my body. Um, but I was always around, you know, like my uncle. I kind of grew up around my uncle. Um, he 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 was like into everything. Like he was kind of like me and him. They say we're just like like he was just in the. He was in the studio recording. He played instruments, multiple instruments. Uh, I mean, that guy, he plays the drums. He can go play the keyboard better than anybody, guitar, whatever the case may be. 
And, you know, he always kept me around like him just, you know, he was in the studio and just, you know, recording and, and, and just studying different things. It's kind of, it was just kind of what I grew up around. So it was just like, you know, you, you kind of, it's kind of like you, you inherit or you kind of just adapt to your environment. And that's just what I was around. And I always had a passion and a love for music. And like anybody who knows me, you know, they know that as well. And when it comes to like music and doing different stuff, they come and talk to me. So it's just a passion and a love that I have. Definitely. So how does your name, JC217, play a part in this? Well, um, like the name, the name, my name actually, you know, um, I just want that to be a brand, you know, like uh, everybody already knew me, like everybody knows me. A lot of people calls me as JC. I just kind of put the 217 on there. That's actually like where I'm from. That's my zip code. But it's a, it's a million JCs in this world. So if you throw the 217, you know, it's not to be mistaken. So, you know, that 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 was why I used that. But it's kind of just, it, it's, just it's just a brand. I just want to brand that. And, and I want people to remember me for, you know, everything that, you know, that I have to come, you know. Definitely. Yeah, there are a lot of JCs, man. Jesus Christ is one. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. All right, man. Uh, what do you believe will draw people and artists to your business? Well, um, my passion. You know, my love. Um, you know, my love for the music industry. Just, just dealing with music, like as far as like dealing with other people, like artists and, and, and different you know whatever the case may be like even dealing with artists like you're dealing with someone's career or something that they want to do so if they feel like you don't take it serious then why should they take you serious you know and mm-hmm. like you can see you can you can definitely feel you can see you can feel my past you can feel my love for you know for whatever the case may be like whatever it is you want to do i support it you know and i'm there i make a way 24 7 you know so it's it's not like I, I, I'm not like a part. Like when it comes to like music, I wouldn't do it like part time. Like I'm I'm all in. Either you're gonna be all in with me, or you know, it's no point. So I think people take that serious. Like my passion is just that's what it is. Like I think that attracts people the most. They can read that in. Definitely. Do you have a name for your uh, company yet? I have no name yet. <laughs> No name. Like I said, I'm building a brand around my own name. You know? Right. Gotcha. I, I, I had I had a brand that I'm kind of you know I'm I'm kind of ventured away from that because the name was kind of like it was more trendy. You know, it's not it's not probably the name that I would want to go incorporate and use when I go talk. You know, have big meetings, corporate meetings, and stuff like that. So I kind of want to venture away from. Yeah. So you know, we had a lot of different stuff like that going out, but I think I'm just gonna wait for that. I got you. Um, do you feel like you'll ever venture outside of the music industry and build other be- businesses? I do. I do. I, well, I think I'll, I would. I would always stay in the music industry until I retire, you know, from the music industry. But, of course, you know, if money starts coming in and finances, you know, build. Of course, I want to build other businesses. Yes. What do you think those might be? Um, um, I like cars. You know, I'm in the cars. So, you know, maybe dealerships, you know, um, something with cars. Um, uh, a funny one, you know, you might not believe it, but I'm kind of, I think of uh, like a funeral, like a mortuary would be, that would be an I- ideal business to have. Uh, actually, my grandfather has a mortuary that would be successful, but I, I, I think that would be a business I would, I would open, but <laughs> I wouldn't just get into it like that, but it would be a business I would love to have. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I see how you know it's profitable. What they say, people die every day. B. Yeah, stability. <laughs> That's the last one. The stability is real. <laughs> uh, I actually got a friend who who, who he doesn't want to own one. He wants to be the actual 
mortician, you know, dressing, uh, <laughs> doing the bodies and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, he, he's a weird one, but you know, <laughs> to, each, to each his own. Shout out to Chris Stow if you if you're listening, but um, so how long have you been on this journey of yours? Um, like, give us a story from the very start. Okay, um, like I said, I just kind of came up under, you know, like my uncle, man, and as I got older, I just wanted to, you know, me and him, I'm not going to say we grew up, we just got, I just got older, you know, as a kid, you kind of, um, you know, um, as a kid, you kind of clean, and you kind of look forward to going and hanging out and eating ice cream, and, you know, just going and doing different stuff, you know, I just kind of grew up, so. You know, yeah. we still talk, we communicate, and, you know, that's where we started. Uh, like I said, um, I think I probably started, once I, once I started, I started probably, I kind of followed, like, my uncle, too. Uh, my other uncle, he, he, he was a DJ, and that's where I kind of branched off and kind of talked to him. I kind of branched off, I probably was about 17, and that's when I kind of just got into some, whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> that's when I kind of just branched right. off and kind of got it. Start doing my own thing and start focusing on what I should do. You know what what can make me great. So ever since then, it's just I've been running with it, um, trying different things. Like here I am. Like I said, here I am. I just started this YouTube channel. Um, actually, this month. So hopefully, you know. Wow. And and let's 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 go to the finish line with it. Definitely. And you're from a great state of Illinois. You know, it housed and birthed a lot of talent. Um, so get on the level with me, man. How do you plan on becoming identifiable, identifiable excuse me, in a never-ending sea and new emergence of businesses and digital nomads contained on that side of the country? My drive, uh, my, my hustle, like I said, my passion, man. My, 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 my passion is just crazy, man, like, you probably, you probably wouldn't even understand, man, it's like, man, I want to, like, you know, I've been waiting, waiting on this since a, a child, man, so, I mean, like, once I get in, man, I promise, man, there's nothing that will stop me, man, so, um, I think they can, can identify that, that's what will set me out. Definitely. So, give us some short-term stuff, man, what's coming up for you in the near future? I, I plan to be pretty big, man, to look out for you, man. I'm looking you up, JC217 on there. I'm going to post all the new songs. And, you know, with these, with these songs, these new tapes, you know, fashion, food, whatever, you know. And I plan on getting, you know, a few subscribers. Hope I can get about 20,000 here pretty soon, but, you know, nothing, nothing is impossible, so I'm focused on. Reaching my goal. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, if you had an overall philosophy of life, how would you describe it? And, and what would be the goal, the point, and purpose of it all? Um, don't stop. Um, I mean, everything, like, don't stop because, you know, a lot of things can 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 throw you off track or, or try to make you forget your purpose, you know, and um and, and a lot of things you, you get faced with a lot of obstacles and, and you want to give up sometimes and just never stop, man, you know, because everything ain't easy, you know, if it's if it's if it's easy, it's not worth having, you know, and and, and I feel like we we tend to forget, you know, what the what the end result and what the goal and what we really should be focused on. We let we let the negativity um, attack us. We forget our purpose. So, like I said, just yeah. don't stop. Just stay focused. So, of course, by putting anything out in today's world, uh, we come uh, we come subject to the judgment of others you already know that you're going against the grain in a market that's oversaturated people can also be critical of what they don't understand we know that but regardless of what they say good or bad there's always something to learn 
and gain from it. And the comments will be coming your way. Are you ready to hear from the people giving you feedback from all over the world? Of course. That's part of business, you know. And how will it help shape your business in the future, or, or will it? Promo. I mean, I think, I think good, bad. You know, everybody. You can't make everybody like you. You can't please everybody. So I mean, um, it's all. You know, I was always told that you know whether it's good, you know, bad, it's it's it's, it's, it's relevant. It's keeping you relevant. So you know, I try not to focus on. Like I said, I don't focus on negativity. Um, you know, thank you for the promotion. <laughs> so you you helped me. Um, so I, I like I don't have a pessimistic view about anything. So you know, you help me. You help me win at the end of the day, whether you like me or not. So I appreciate it. You know, thanks to everybody who don't like it. So what do you think is the most important thing you can do for your own business during these next five years that are coming? Um. Stay consistent. Um, stay positive. Just stay positive. Just on the inside and the outside. Just you know, never let people see you sweat. You know, even even no matter how hard it gets. You know, just stay consistent. Stay positive. Stay definitely. Definitely. And how are you defining what success means to you? And how will this important act play a part in getting you there? Uh, just working. Uh, just, just working, you know. Um, just working relentlessly. Um, I think it just plays. It plays everything in getting there, you know. The end result will be, you know, it would be crazy. So just, it's no sky. Like the sky is the limit. That's another reason why I like the music. Uh, Sky's the limit, man. You know, it's, it's really no stopping point. You know, you got guys who make five hundred thousands, and it's guys who make five hundred million. There's billionaires in the music industry, so you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's the sky's the limit. So true that. All right, JC, man. After the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat, and our fans love this part of the segment. And of course, along with the actual interview, but the audience get to hear either some good old singing, porn, inspirational speech, spoken word, freestyle rap, maybe even a joke or two or share a cool story. Or maybe you can whip out a live instrument. The choice is yours, you know, to make. And you never know what these creative minds and vessels will produce in the spotlight. And we'll find out if you, JC217, have what it takes to be put on the spot. A test of your true artistry and maybe some hidden talents. Uh, sometimes I just feel like I'm drowning or some shit, man. Just feel too indifferent. My differential is spinning and shit. Uh, nah. And look at the price sign. I miss the price sign. I'm going nowhere real fast. Trying to get this cash, I got the stash. I'm licking at her fat ass. Yeah, I'm going nowhere real fast. I'm looking very far. I go out to Mars. Oh, no, no, yeah, to Mars. Looking for my sailor moon. I go out to the fucking moon. Doom, clouds going boom. They like zoom. It's him. Hey mom, I'm just a kid from down the street I used to go knocking down the doors I joined the army, now I'm wearing green Hey fuck that shit man, now I'm smoking green A beauty queen, I'm looking for the scene Her pussy mean, I'm looking for the queen Like oh oh Fuck it, Mr. Brightside, I'm going nowhere. Fuck it, Mr. Brightside, I look on the bright side. I'm going nowhere, real fast. Trying to get this cash, looking in my stash. I'm going nowhere, real fast. Call me Mr. Brightside, look up on the bright side. I'm going so high, real fast. I'm going Fucking nowhere. Oh yeah, I was born in September, so I'm a Virgo. Be like on 
on the dirty be specific. From the Pacific Ocean. Scientific happiness. Scientists. I like caterpillars and shit that turn into butterflies. How beautiful she is. If she ever dies like a rose is. I grab it, I grab it, I have it. I got to have it. She stole my heart, so fuck it. I used to go and knock me down the doors. I joined the army, now I'm wearing green. Hey, fuck that shit, man. Now I'm smoking green. A beauty queen, I'm looking for the scene. Her pussy me, I'm looking for the queen. Like, oh, oh, fuck it, Mr. Price. I'm going nowhere, fuck it, Mr. Price. I look on the bright side, I'm going nowhere, real fast. Tryna get this money, yeah. I look on the bright side, you missed the bright side. I'm going nowhere, fucking missed the bright side. I look on the bright side, I'm going nowhere, real fast. Tryna get this money, yeah. I'm in my high ride, I'm going nowhere, real fast. I got what it takes to be on the spot, man. I'm trying to think of a funny story to tell you. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of a funny story to tell you, man, but I ain't, I ain't got it right now. I mean, I can tell you about, uh, man, we went to a Heat game one time. The Heat was playing the Chicago Bulls, and um, um, me and my brother, um, we, we had went to the Heat game and uh, had some pretty good seats. And uh, <laughs> I, me, I'm young. Like I said, I, I, I was at the end. I was doing the music, you know. I'm and, and and we get in there and I go down I go down about six rows right I'm behind the fence I'm by, I, I, only one I recognize for real was Kill O'Neal man I'm by, I'm behind Kill O'Neal so now I'm standing on the court man I go down man. I go down there man I'm tapping on Pat Riley's shoulder man asking them all kind of questions man they they made me go back to my seat it's <laughs> like where's coming from, man. They sit me on back of my seat, man. That was pretty funny. Wow. Having on Pat Riley show. <laughs> I, I had no idea who Pat Riley was, man. It was crazy. Wow. All right, man. That is a crazy story. Uh, before I forget, man, website-wise, where do you want people to come looking for you? What will they find there? Um... You can find me on YouTube. Like I said, I do reviews. I'm going to do reviews. Keep you up on the latest music. You can find me on Instagram, Snapchat. Um, I don't personally have a website just yet. You know, it, that is in the works, but it's not It's not out there. So um, I don't have a website at the moment. But I'm on, like I said, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, um, Facebook. You can look me up. It's hard, JC217 or um, at JC underscore 217. You can find me everywhere. Dope. And lastly, my friend, I'd like to thank you personally for your time and efforts put into this interview. It's always radical to be there at almost the beginning of something unique and special. So that means you got to come back on the show when you, uh, when, when, you got, when you have a name and you have your artists and you're that future Mongol like the description of the show says you are or that you will be. <laughs> No, I enjoy learning about you, man, and your journey. I certainly had a great time sitting here, you know, writing an interview and imagine what your future will look like because it seems very bright to me. So that is our, our, our traditional open floor, which allows you to say anything that you like, anything that you wanted me to bring up that I just didn't mention or add, you know, or you can do some shout outs. It's totally your option to do whatever you like at this point. And yeah, shout out to you, man. Shout out. Shout out to y'all for having me, man. Shout out to my mom, my family, my grandparents, my kids, my brothers. Uh, shout out YouTube. <laughs> shout out everybody, man. Shout out to Kater, man. Shout out to 217, man. I'm bringing this home, man. Shout out to my, my cousin. He, his, he just started a journey as well. You can look him up. Any TV on YouTube. 
So just shout out to everybody that's been with me from the start, man. Shout out to everybody who don't like me. You know, y'all help too, you know. Thank everybody for watching, I mean, for listening to me. So, again, hope to do this again, man. I enjoyed you. Oh, yeah, man. I enjoyed you as well. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, the app called Podcast Addict, or our website, which is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or send something for us to play, email it to V Radio at only one media group.com here my disclaimer we are drummer free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show something you got to deal with nah just kidding on behalf of myself danny mussolini i appreciate you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring and also special thanks to our guests for joining us we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with us on facebook twitter instagram uh youtube tumblr we are all over just connect with us and we do follow back okay well just remember to be yourself and be absolutely freaking great at just doing that peace Listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.